Today, it's editing. Strap in because this video is going to be fast paced. And for you, I see no reason in seeing a 17 minute tutorial on four different effects, so let's get to it. You will need Sapphire plugin for most of these effects. You can attempt to create them without Sapphire plugin, but it's not going to be the same. So I would suggest you to go to the links in the description if you want to crack Sony Vegas and Sapphire plugin. First up, when you open Sony Vegas, go to File, Open, and then choose your folder and have your two clips ready. Open them, no, and it's in Sony Vegas. Next up, we're gonna remove the audio. Drag over the clips with this feature, press U on the keyboard, and then drag over the uh, audio file and press delete. Now it's gone. Also, always remember to drag over the clips, go to switches and disable resample, so it doesn't look weird. This effect can be done without Sapphire. Go uh, into your video effects tab, look for soft contrast, go to soft contrast and use one of these. This one I cannot recommend, this is a preset, and this is also a preset. These three are presets, all mine are saved. You can save one by equipping this one for example, and it looks like this, changes the look of the game a little. And if you want to add some correction hue, you can just pull that up. Let's make it blue red, and turn up the tint, maybe some contrast, put on some vignette, and there you have your preset. If you want to save that, go up here and press, uh, I don't know, red and choose this icon. And then if you go to another effect, go back and it's saved. To remove effects, you're going to press on this icon, which is a video effects tab, and press this top right thing, which removes the effect. Next up, we have the glint effect. I have a preset. Uh, use the S unders uh, underscore glint from the sapphire. It's much better than this one. Pick the I have a preset. Let's go to from the beginning. That's pretty extreme. So let's tune it down a bit, add some blur to it, make it a little bigger. You can change the color of it in brightness details here. You can also change the glow if you want to make it on the x-axis or the y-axis. If you want to zoom in on something special, go to this pan and crop. And remember to have this equipped so that if you go to this point at the timeline, it also follows in the rest of your editor. So you go to the beginning of the clip and we drag it inside and we want to make a screen bump. So we go one, two, three, four, five frames. Five frames is this basic one. Right click on this window, press restore and fast fade. Always remember to fast fade when fading out and when fading in, use slow. That's much better. It's going to improve your editing game so much. Now for our first transition. You can use the transition tab. I have a bunch of presets with the BCC plug plugin. You can look that up on the internet. We also have a lot of presets on the Sapphire. The only ones I can the only ones I can recommend is the Swish Pan, this one. And you can just overlap these clips. Make sure that this is equipped so that it automatically crossfades. Drag that onto the transition and get some high blur. Let's make it from the right. And you can hold shift and press somewhere in the timeline where there's no clip. It will mark it. Hold shift and B to pre-render it, boom, there we have a transition. To remove it, you just go in here and do the same as the effects. Next up, we have a if, uh, or a transition we do ourselves. We will go to Blur More Curves, drag that onto the clip, and we're gonna animate C dist and let's make. Oh yeah, okay. Let's just do the C dist first. So go to the end of the clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. It's going to be a long transition. Go to 9. Let's make it smooth in a little. So we go a little before. Get that slow fade. And we're going to make it zoom in a little bit. Like that. And also make this slow in. Because it, we're going to fade it into the clip. And remember, you always have to use slow before. And you just drag that all the way to the bottom. Next step, drag it onto the second clip. Animate c -Dist. Make sure to have it. Let's make it high. Because that makes it look like it going, it's going through something. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's make it 7. 1. Fast fade. Always fast fade when fading out. And we have ourselves a transition. Let's, hold on. Look at that. That's an effect. Okay. So this up here, if you can't see what's going on in this little preview... You gotta change this. Go to good and put it on quarter or half or whatever suits you. And if you only wanna see half of the effect happen, just press this button and it's only gonna appear on the right side. 
Also make sure that your video settings in this wheel here is 60 FPS and all these things. I already have some pre samples. Go to YouTube and look up a tutorial on the best render settings as well so that you make sure that you have the best ones. I have a preset myself which is 1080p and 60 FPS. And that was basically all you needed to know about transitions because the rest of it is just experimenting because I never know what I'm going to do with the transition. It just happens. I do something different every single time and you should as well. If you want to make it slide sideways or up, use the X and Y shift feature in the blur mode curves. Now for the rest of this video, it's going to be a half ramble. The fast paced version of this video is over, but it goes more in depth with linear blur and shakes and screen bumps and all that shit. So if you want to keep watching, go on. And dude, dude, if I'm losing you here, if you don't want to learn more about editing, I'm going to say the S word, okay? I'm gonna say it. I swear to- I'm gonna- Now we're gonna show the glow effect on text. So let's get our text on media generators, legacy text, and choose the default setting. I have some presets here. Let's make a new one from the bottom. Why not? Put in the sample text. We type gay. I don't know why it should be gay. You don't have to drag over it. And draw some shadow so it looks better. And if you feel like it, in the properties here, you can also change the in, in, in inner color so you can only see the shadow and we will go here to change the font to this and make it larger yeah that seems good okay so we're gonna go to video effects and type glow and the first time you type something in Sony Vegas it's probably gonna lag this is really fast paced S glow S glow is much better you can put this on and it's gonna be pretty extreme you can also change the width of it so it Moves closer, you could say. Change the color. I want it to be red. And yeah, let's make it red. Let's make it pop. See, you can see that effect. And it will be brightened up. So that's how you do that. So we can now go to the shake effect, which is something that most people use. Take the default. I'm not going to use my presets. Drag it onto it. And this looks not very good, I would say. The amplitude is the amount of shaking. You can see the amount that it, it's just hopping around. You can see this with high amplitude. It's really shaky, but if you put it down low, it's not that much. But the frequency is still high. Let's put that down to this. And if you want to make it more smooth, add motion blur. And this is the C. It just changes the, the way that it works, kind of. And if you want to make a big amplitude, I would suggest you to turn this off. Because then you're going to see texts on the top here, on the sides, because it's reflected. So let's see how this looks. That looks pretty chill. And you can use that on the uh, the gameplay as well. So let's go to this once again. And let's put up the amplitude a bit and the frequency with motion blur. And you can see it kind of makes this blurry effect. Which looks really cool if you want to do some e-rape. For example, if I completely bump up the frequency here, you can see that it goes completely crazy. And that's the thing that most of YouTubers do nowadays. Okay, let's delete this and make some screen bumps. So, the way you do that without Sapphire, basically just zoom in on the start of a clip. One, two, three, four, five, basic transition. Add fast fade like we did before. And you will see, boom, small screen bump. You can do that. But, in Sapphire we have something that's much better. Let's quickly remove this. In Sapphire we can use blur mode curves. Again. So you're gonna zoom in a little at the start of the clip, animate it. Just the C-Dist makes how much it zooms in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's make it... Let's make it 4. Why not? And the 1 is the basic, add it to fast fade. And you're gonna have boom, boom. Same thing. The difference between the pan and crop and the blur mode curves is that it adds a little blur, so it makes it more smooth. Which is why I think you should use that. And you can do the same further in the clip if you want to do, for example, a bump right here, because it has a precaution in the music. Add a keyframe, and the previous keyframe here, make it hold. So that it just, it's the same until this exact keyframe, where you can zoom in. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's make this one 6. Add 1. Fast fade, and you're gonna have the same boom, boom. And if you wanna add some shake as well, you can just go in here. Let's make it, I have a preset here, 
which looks like this. Let's add some motion blur, why not? Boom. And we have a small shake on it as well. And if you wanna wanna add some rollo effects like the linear blur, go to linear blur, not in the sapphire, so you can use that on every single version of Sony Vegas and make up the amount. And keyframe it. One, two, three. I would say three is the best one. Let's make the angle pop so it makes that boom. There you go. There's a little blur for you. And if that's not good enough for you and you want to make some serious shaking, you could either add a shake to it and animate both of these. So put this really fucking high. And go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's make it fast because it's going to wear out really quickly. Remember to put fast fade. Look, boom. There's a little shake there for you. And another life hack if you have Sapphire, which you probably have. Dissolve shake. Add that to the clip. And at the beginning, animate the dissolve amount to about 400. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And add this to 0. You can also put up the amplitude a little, turn on the frequency. Let's make it fast fade, and it will have the same effect. Boom. Like that. So you can do it both ways. I think the dissolve shake is easier, but the shake effects sometimes looks better. Holy shit, I should get you a prize for staying this long. Well, um, what can we get for you? Uh, shit!